basic engineering concepts chapter 1 minutes and dimensions for any query regarding technical job or coaching or training contact 9459032666 so let's start with the basic concepts engineering concepts and that is units and dimension see we all are very familiar with these units and dimensions and often ignore this chapter but we all know that almost each and every exam carry two to three bits from this chapter and many a time we could not recall the correct answer in the examination hall so here is a quick review of some of most important and common units and dimensions for you first we start with the material what is material matter matter that is used to make something is known as material we know there are two types of quantities one is your fundamental quantity other one is your derived quantity fundamental quantity do not depends on any other physical uh, quantity for their measurements and derived quantities are those which depend on physical other physical either fundamental or derived quantities for their measurements okay next one is your uh, there are seven fundamental quantities remember there are only seven fundamental quantities and these are your mass length time electric current temperature amount of substance and luminous intensity now see uh, here what to be note is that electric current that is rate of change of uh, electric charge is the fundamental quantity not the charge fundamental quantity okay so mass is kg length meter time second electric current ampere temperature kelvin everybody knows that but what is about amount of substance amount of substance is mole luminous intensity is candela and uh, luminous intensity is denoted by your uh, j and its symbol is l so remember this two thing that electric current is the fundamental quantity not the charge and charge is coulomb current is ampere okay so these are the seven fundamental quantities what are they once again mass length time electric current temperature amount of substance and luminous intensity what are the units mass kg length meter time second electric current ampere temperature kelvin amount of substance mole and luminous intensity is candela once again remember that electric current is the fundamental quantity not the charge though it seems that charge should be the fundamental quantity dq dt the charge is given by q is equal to i into t okay and it is coulomb we all know anyways the next one is your derived quantities derived quantities first two things is speed and velocity this speed and velocity nothing but your rate of change of displacement rate of change of displacement both have same unit meter per second square uh, sorry meter per second and unit is l t minus 1 but the difference is that speed is a scalar quantity velocity is a vector quantity next one is your acceleration acceleration means rate of change of velocity dv dt and if the velocity acceleration becomes zero that simply means the object is in uniform motion remember uniform motion so acceleration zero uniform motion v becomes constant so acceleration is denoted by a meter per second square everybody knows that next one is your angular velocity and angular acceleration angular acceleration and angular velocity omega and alpha radian per second radian per second square so the dimension is t minus 1 and t minus 2 remember this these are scalar quantities angular velocity and angular acceleration are scalar quantities and often we call them pseudo vector they are called pseudo vector next area or volume no everybody knows that area is meter square volume is meter cube so l2 t3 volume is t, uh, uh, sorry l2 and l3 volume is l3 so uh, next one is your area density and density area density is what area density is mass per unit area kg per meter square and density is mass per unit volume kg per meter cube so remember this ml uh, minus 2 and ml minus 3 next one is your specific volume specific volume is nothing but your one by rho one by uh, means reciprocal of your density is called specific volume means the unit quantity of substance occupied the volume how much volume meter cube by kg l cube m minus one next one is your specific gravity that is very important specific gravity is nothing but your density of object by density of water so specific gravity is unitless because it is a ratio between density to density so it is uh, unitless and it is dimensionless also 
See, if the specific gravity of any object is greater than 1, then the object will sink in water. If the specific gravity of any uh, substance is greater than what, 1, then the substance will sink in water. Remember this thing uh, that uh, the reference substance, reference substance in specific gravity is water at 4 degrees centigrade sorry at 4 degrees centigrade for liquid and air at 25 degrees centigrade for gaseous. So, that reference we take for, uh, for uh, to find out the specific gravity. So, it is water for liquid at 4 degrees centigrade and air for gaseous at 25 degrees centigrade. Anyways, next one is your momentum. Momentum is P is equal to m into V and its unit is Newton second unit is Newton second m l t minus 1. See here momentum and impulse have same dimension and same unit Newton second. So, it is very easy to remember that momentum and your impulse are having same unit. Remember this momentum and impulse are having same unit. What is the unit? Unit is Newton into second Newton into second. See here P is equal to m v. So, what is m? m is nothing but kg, v is meter per second. So, we can write kg meter per second square into second and kg is mass, m meter per second square is acceleration into second. So, once again it is coming as mass into acceleration is f into second, f is nothing but Newton, s is second. So, it is coming as Newton second. Remember this momentum is Newton second, impulse also Newton second, dimension m l t minus 1 and these two are vector quantities. Next one is your force, force means f is equal to m a, it is Newton everybody knows that m l t minus 2, it is vector quantity. Uh, see uh, force is given by f is equal to m into a, it is Newton, it is Newton. Next one is your work. What is work? Work is force into displacement, force into displacement. Work is force into displacement. So, it is coming as your Newton meter, work is Newton meter and we call it Joule. Here we should see another thing that work, torque and energy, work, torque and energy have same dimension and unit, Newton meter torque is also Newton meter and energy is also Newton meter joule. But what is the difference? Difference is that work, torque and energy. Here work is scalar quantity, energy is scalar quantity but torque is vector quantity. Though they have same dimension, same unit but torque is vector quantity, rest work scalar quantity. So, remember this work, torque, energy have same dimension, same unit, unit is nothing but your Newton meter or you can say Joule. Okay. So, uh, so uh, to avoid the confusion between these three, uh, torque is always denoted by uh, unit of torque is always written as Newton meter, okay, Newton meter. So, remember this three. Next one is your power. So, first it is, it is your force, force is F then work, work is F into S means force into displacement. Next one is your power. What is power? Power is rate of doing work means work done per unit time W by T work done per unit time and we can say it is joule per second. Work means joule time is second. So, joule per second is the power. W by T it is joule per second and we, we uh, also call it watt power unit of power is watt. What is the dimension? Dimension is m l 2 t minus 3 and it is scalar quantity. Next one is your torque we have already discussed torque and energy then it is coming here pressure. Pressure is P is equal to F by A. Remember here that this force should be this force should be perpendicular to the area not inclined it is the perpendicular component vertical component or perpendicular uh, to the area force per unit area is your pressure and pre unit of pressure is 
pascal or we can say force is newton and area is meter square so pascal is equal to your newton per meter square what is the dimension m l minus 1 t minus 2 m l minus 1 t minus 2 here also see pressure young's modulus and your stress these three are having same units and dimension pressure young's modulus and stress are having same unit pascal newton per meter square and dimension is m l minus 1 t minus 2 so remember this pressure young modulus and stress are same torque work and energy are same and your momentum and impulse are same okay next one is your strain now strain is a ratio so it is unitless and dimensionless strain is unitless and dimensionless okay uh, young modulus is denoted by your e symbol is e stress is uh, your sigma and strain is epsilon uh, so strain is unitless and dimensionless very very important remember this strain is unitless and dimensionless quantity strain is unitless and dimensionless quantity next one is your surface tension surface tension means uh, it is denoted by gamma and uh, newton per meter force per uh, length so newton per meter or you can say it is joule per meter square joule per meter square m t minus 2 is the dimension next one is your moment of inertia moment of inertia means i and it is given by your uh, kg per meter square m l square m l 2 next one is gas constant gas constant is r r is joule per mole per kelvin m l 2 t 2 k minus 1 or you can say theta minus 1 uh, remember the uh, uh, value of gas constant it is r r is 8.314 joule per mole per kelvin joule per mole per kelvin what is specific heat specific heat is c and it is joule per kg per uh, kelvin joule per kg per kelvin means the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of a unit volume of uh, unit mass of substance l2 t minus 2 k minus 1 next one is your frequency frequency is hertz t minus 1 and it is a scalar quantity unit system unit system what is unit unit the measurement of quantities are expressed in terms of certain quantities of same nature and these are known as unit of measurement what are the systems we have mks system cgs system fps system and si system we all are familiar with mks system cgs system fps system. what is mks M meter kg and second meter kg second cgs centimeter gram second fps foot pound second this is british unit and si unit international standard it is resembles to your mks system only so if we consider force force is one newton in mks or si unit and uh, 10 to the power of 5 dyne 10 to the power of 5 dyne in cgs system fps system it is 7.2 pound uh, I, I should say poundels poundels 7.2 poundels next one is work work is 1 joule 1 joule means 10 to the 7 arcs and it is 0.73 foot poundel acceleration due to gravity 9.8 meter per second square 980 centimeter per second square and 32 feet per second squared in british unit टाइप का बर्डन ट्यूब होगा दिस इज द बर्डन ट्यूब यहां पे देखो ये फिक्स्ड है हम पढ़ते आए हैं कि फिक्स्ड एंड फिक्स्ड एंड सो ये हो गया तुम्हारा प्रेशर गोस